I'm up in North Bucks, just outside the village of Great Brickhill, at a trout fishery called Pachard. I first fished here two years ago and thought then, I will come back when possible as I really enjoyed it. I booked two days and this is the first day. On this day, the first day, I'm meeting up with a friend and cannot do a full video, but managed to catch a couple of brown trout, which is on a catch and release basis, and a rainbow for the pot. The lake, which was created in the 60s, by damming a small stream that flows from a spring, holds rainbows, browns and the occasional blues. It really is a pleasure to be here, with the lake surrounded by forest. There's a great clubhouse position right on the lake providing breakfasts, light lunches and afternoon teas. There is also a really well stocked tackle shop with a wide range of fly fishing equipment. Now back for day two and hopefully catch something. But if not, it's just a pleasure to be here doing some fly fishing for trout at such a great location. Okay, off we go again. Now, when I fished this a couple of days ago, I caught the, all the fish I caught, the two brown trout, small brown trout and the rainbow on a lure fly, on this fly. The Pittsford P, all three trout came on the Pittsford P, a lure fly. And I was fishing a dropper and they didn't, wasn't in, interested in the dropper. And I tried different droppers, um, nymphs, mainly nymphs, and not interested, all on that fly. So what I thought I'd do, i start again with this fly and see how we go. And I'm probably going to stick to lure flies in this morning and then I might have to change this afternoon. And the reason for that is, in the two times that I fished this fishery, I'm yet to catch a fish in the afternoon. All, any fish I've caught have always been in the morning. So I think a change goes on. Um, may, maybe they just go off, they, they feed better in the morning and they don't feed in the afternoon. I don't know, or maybe they get switched on to something else in the afternoon. Maybe there's a, there's a buzzer hatch in the first few hours of the afternoon. I don't know. But start with this and maybe try some other lure flies. See how we go. Uh, well, just, just see what happens. Now, for those interested, I've got seven weight rod, nine foot seven weight rod with matching line, floating line, on, on it and I've got another rod set up um, with a different fly on just to make it easy for me to, to quick, quickly change to a different fly. All right what I'm going to start with what worked last time is just a very a slow figure of eight retrieve but uh, if necessary I'll mix it up maybe do some speeding up a bit and slow it down and we'll just, we'll just see see what works. One thing I found about since I've been doing this still water fly fishing for trout, um, sometimes it's hard, <laughs> the hard, it's hard to know what works on the day. It didn't get it hooked right now. It's quite interesting because I changed the retrieve, I was doing a really slow retrieve. I speeded it up, and suddenly I saw several trout going for it turning away, and one took it. Um, but that's encouraging. Um, it was on a different fly, but I changed it to a little baby doll. But that may, may not may make any difference, it might just be the speed of retrieve that they want. Um, so we'll, we'll try that again and see if that's what they that's what they want. They want it. In other words, they want to chase. They want it quick. Was 
let it sink a bit and then um, oh, I'm gonna have a change of change of tactics um, apart from that mist the one I, I lost didn't cook it properly they just don't seem interested in the lures um, I've seen them you know they just look at it turn away so I'm gonna I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna put a, put a couple of buzzers on and uh, see if that works something smaller all right complete change of tactics so I've got a couple of buzzers I think it's a size size 12 or size 10 crisp packet buzzer I think that one's called there and then on a dropper about four foot away another buzzer smaller buzzer a little black buzzer let's just see if that works because if, if they'll if I can get them to take something something smaller because they just don't seem to want to know uh, the lure flies At last, at last. Maybe, maybe that's the answer then to uh, today, is um, maybe smaller, smaller flies to get them to take. Interestingly, I, I hooked it under this that tree there because I thought I'd experiment with this because I can see plenty of trout there. It'd be interesting to experiment to see if I can if they were interested in these flies and the buzzers uh, as an experiment really. And sure enough, one was tempted. Interesting to see. Looks like it's taken the buzzer on the dropper. Yeah, it has. Nice rainbow. Chunky, nice chunky rainbow. Oh, let's get it away from the water. That's a lovely chunky fish. 
really fat. So that's brilliant. So that's really interesting. Really didn't seem to be that interested in the lures and then put the much smaller fly on the buzzer and then got one quite quickly. So obviously I'm going to stick with that now and just see if that's the answer today. Smaller, much smaller flies rather than the lure flies. I might try nymphs later, but uh, while I've caught this first one on the buzzer, uh, we'll stick with that. Yeah, lovely, lovely trout. I've made myself a, a DIY stringer, uh, similar to what I sometimes use on the kayak, but a much shorter one. So basically, rather than pay out for a, sort of 15 quid for a, for a stringer, so basically I've got a carabiner carbine hook and on that is a tent peg and that makes it easy for me just to push it push the push it through the the gills oops let's do that again pop it through the gills with the tent peg pull the pull the stringer through and then that goes down to a stop and then what I do is just hook that up a block of wood with a couple of U, um, I think they're called U nails. In the end, there's hooks, and all I've got to do is hook that up the other end, and that's for carrying. But of course, for popping it in the water, what I do is then disconnect that end, the trout is stopped down the end and then I've got this end with the tent peg, peg just to push it into the into the bank keep the trout cool one thing I'll say about this fishery which I thought was very good um, when I came a couple of days ago I paid for a four fish limit and the manager here Jeff told me he said well do you know about the fish credits and I said, um, no. So basically what it is, you pay for a four fish limit. If you don't get your, or whatever it is, two fish limit, four fish limit. If you don't get your, if you don't get your limit and you're going to come back again, they'll credit you. So I caught one, I caught three trout on Tuesday when I was here two on catch and release the brown trout and then the rainbow which was a keeper so i only got one so i've got three three credits for today so instead of paying the full amount i pay for i get three the value of three trout seven pound a trout so 21 pound in credit so instead of paying the 48 pound which is four fish at seven pound a fish which is 28 plus 20 pound for your day 48 quid i actually only paid 27 pound today so I've uh, just paid for one trout with the three fish, three trout credits up to the four and be £20 for me day. So I thought that was really fair. After catching that fish, the fishing dried up with no more interest in the buzzers. So I decided to move and see if the buzzers would work at a different peg. And if not, try some other methods and flies. OK, what I've decided to do just had a change um, and I've got the washing line on now so I've got a booby on the point and, and then a, a nymph on the middle dropper and then a, a, a merger buzzer emerger on the top drop dropper occasionally uh, it's gone quite uh, calm down now but there's a bit of a drift here a bit of a breeze it's picking up occasionally so when that happens i'm just going to let it drift um, but while it's like this we'll just do a very very slow retrieve and see if that works but to be honest with you after catching that trout on the buzzer i thought oh brilliant i found what they're they're after but then they're nothing so tried lots and lots of lots of different lures I mean, I persisted with the buzzer for a while, but uh, just couldn't get any interest. So who 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 knows 
what they want. Now, if they want anything at all. Um, but I suppose you just got to keep trying. There's lots of several anglers here fishing all sorts of different uh, flies. Um, but I'm not seeing lots of fish being pulled out. Back now to the peg I fished first and the plan was to fish this peg and another peg close to the clubhouse before calling it a day. And things were about to take a turn for the better. Well at last, at last, I've tried, um, since catching them on the buzzer, that stopped working. Uh, I've tried so many different methods, so many different flies, and finally, I've got a trout to take a fly. And this is on the little um, baby doll, one of the ones I started with. Ironic, isn't it? Finally. In fact, this is my first first time I've ever caught a trout on the, on the baby doll. Um, it is recommended as a mainly a winter, no autumn. I think it's autumn as well, autumn and winter fly. Just on a on a steady retrieve, really. Also ironic, <clears throat> catch this one at the same spot that I caught the caught the first one. Despite having um, two or three moves, and this is the first for me at this fishery. It's the first for me to catch, and this is the third time I've fished it now. First time for me to catch a trout in the afternoon. Doesn't like the net. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your head up. Oh, God. oh no. <laughs> Well, at last, another fish. Worked hard for this fish. Like I said, I've tried loads of different flies. The buzzers stopped working, so that's what made me change. If it had carried on working, I would have carried on. But yeah, really thrilled to catch another one because I've only got uh, a short while left now.
fantastic. Now that is a fantastic brown, which is going to go back. Absolutely brilliant. I didn't realise it was a brown when I was when I was playing it. Um, there's a, a rule here: if you catch brown trout, you've got to put put them back. So quick look at it. Beautiful fish, and we'll get it back. It's gone. Well, it took a it took a while, but I'm pleased to say that it's gone back okay. Fantastic, beautiful fish. Well, I'm going to close the video now after catching that that nice fish. But uh, I, I will carry on fishing for a little bit. But it, the light is going now. But if I catch another one, I'll just film it. Um, but I'll close the video now. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.